In this movie, we'll talk about placeholder, but with fallback for older browsers. We're working on placeholder with fallback.html from your working files folder. As we've covered in previous movies, in order to put placeholder text on an input element, all you need to do is type placeholder equals and then the value of the placeholder. In modern web browsers, it looks like this. Type here, and then there's some placeholder text, which disappears as soon as you start typing. And if you erase it, it reappears. The problem with a lot of the new HTML5 elements is that they're not actually supported in older browsers. Because the older browsers were developed before the HTML5 elements, these older browsers don't know about them at all. Let me give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox 3.6. Now this is a browser that existed before HTML5 was really around. See, it says your browser is out of date. Generally, we don't want to run these older browsers unless we're doing web development. But some people who work at large companies with IT departments can't help but run older browsers because their IT department won't upgrade them. Let's test out this page in this older browser. As you can see, there's no placeholder text on this input element. As it turns out, there are a number of projects to bring placeholder text to these older browsers. These older browsers include anything before Firefox 4 and anything before Internet Explorer 9 or 10, depending on the feature. The particular one that I'd like to focus on today is this one. I'm going to take this URL here and paste it right there. Now, this is one of many polyfills that exist for the HTML5 placeholder attribute. You can choose any of them, although they all will have slightly different implementation details. In this case, in order to implement the placeholder attribute using this polyfill for older browsers, include their script, which is jQuery.placeholder.js. To make the placeholder plugin actually work, we need to type a little bit more. On this GitHub page, they give us information about how to implement it. Down here under usage, all it says is simply include the JavaScript file and the CSS and we're going to instantiate it. This here is a line of jQuery which says don't run the following code until the document is loaded. Then we're going to target all the input and text areas and we're going to say dot placeholder. That will cause this script to run and augment the functionality of any inputs or text areas if the browser doesn't already support placeholder. So I'm going to save this and let's see if it works. Here we are in Chrome. Everything still works just like we expect it to. And in Firefox, if I refresh, now we have MMDDYY. Now the last thing that I want to do is add that link tag to include the CSS. And that should round out all the styling on all of the different older browsers. So that is how you do placeholder text with fallback for older browsers.